Chapter 1 Meet the Computer Now, I am here to tell you something about shopping. I hope that all of you have gone already for shopping. One day, Sona was going for shopping. She visited an electronic shop. She saw so many electronic devices in a shop. The salesman explained one by one. Example, this is a calculator. It is of very high quality. You can calculate very quick and easily using this. This DVD player is of good quality and it is from a new branded company. This is television and it is manufactured abroad and was manufactured using modern technology. And the same has very nice audio features and the picture is very much clear. Next one is mobile phone. The same is imported and is manufactured using ultra modern technology. It's used to call your friends or relatives anywhere in the world and you can also send messages to them. The last one is computer. We have a lot of models in our shop. Which one do you like to have, baby? She was so interested towards the explanations. Friends, at last she got interest to see the different models of computer. The salesman explained one by one again. Sona, please come. Sona asked the salesman uncle, What is it? It looks so cute. Yeah, fine. This one is a small computer. It's a palm top computer. You can hold it very easily. Sona, please see this. You know Slate? Yeah, uncle. This is also among small computers. It's a tablet computer. It has a touch screen facility. Again, both were going to the next counter. They searched for other items. Uncle, what is it? Is it a notebook or a computer? Sona, this is not a notebook. This is a laptop computer. Also a lightweight one. And it can be carried out anywhere also. They are going to another counter where they saw a desktop type computer. The salesman explained it as a desktop computer which is usually kept on a desk. Sona said, Yes, uncle, I know that I am using the same type of computer in my school. We are learning about this in our school. Friends, from this description about shopping, I hope that you have got some idea about the different types of computers. Let me say it once again, one by one. Listen to me. Different types of computers are palm top, tablet, laptop and desktop. I think you have got it clear, right? Okay. Next, it is comparison between computer and other electronic devices. Comparison between computer and other electronic devices. Dear friends, Sona wanted to know the functions of all electronic devices in the shop and compare each other. The salesman continued his explanations. Mobile phone. Sona, see, this is a mobile phone. You know for what purpose we are using this? It is used to call anybody who has a phone number anywhere in the world and also can send messages to any phone which has a connection. Television. This is television, which is used for entertainment. This brings different videos and sound through its display and speakers. It is also an informative device. Camera. This is a camera. It is used to take pictures of your friends, beautiful sceneries, animals, flowers or anything around you. Calculator. This is a calculator. You can calculate quickly and easily using this device. Computer. This is a computer. An electronic device which can perform the functions of all other devices mentioned above like listening music, watching movies, playing games, calculation and also doing networking. Friends, at last our Sona understood that it is better to purchase a computer than purchasing these devices separately for different purposes. Thus, Sona purchased a desktop computer and took it home. Sona thanked the salesman for his service. Connecting a computer. Switch on the computer. Friends, 
Now let's see how to connect a computer. Sona took her computer to her home and tried to connect the computer at her study. Her father helped her to connect and switch on the computer. First of all, Sona switched on the main power supply to which the UPS was already was connected by her father. Then she switched on the power button of the UPS. Both the monitor and CPU were connected with the UPS. Sona pressed the power button to switch on the CPU. This is the biggest button on the CPU, maybe a switch situated at the middle of the CPU on many machines. Finally, she switched on the monitor by pressing the power button. It started glowing. There were light indicators next to the power button on UPS, CPU and monitor to show whether they were switched on or off. Now, the computer was ready to use. When got started, the monitor displayed a beautiful screen. It is the desktop of the computer. Friends, now you see the desktop of a computer here. Friends, now you have learned to switch on the computer and we are going to study how to switch off a computer. Switching off a computer. Friends, Sona's father explained her how to switch off the computer. She started carefully after the instructions from her father. First, she clicked on the start button which is on the left bottom corner of the screen. It displayed a shutdown button on the start menu in the monitor. Again, she clicked on the shutdown button and waited till the computer was got shut down. Then, she switched off the power button on the monitor. After that, she switched off the power button on the UPS. Finally, she switched off the power button on the power supply switch. Now, with Sona, you might have learned how to switch on and off the computer. Friends, I hope you will practice this. Bye!